To the golf course, it's a special week here at WBKB as we will be bringing you not one, but two lessons on the links. After a couple of weeks helping you with your short game, we've backed things up a bit to give you a little help off the tee. Hello and welcome into another edition of Lesson on the Link. We are back out at Thunder Bay Golf Resort, back out with head pro John Kazuski. So John, the past couple of weeks we've talked a lot about the short game, chipping, putting. Now we've backed things up a little bit, off to getting off to a good start. So obviously with driving, there's a lot of aspects to it, but what is it that we want to go over today? Today we're going to go over a couple aspects of driving, like you said, Kyle. Um, our ball position, our stance, and we'll talk a little bit about swing too. All right, sounds good. All right, so John, so first, obviously, with that big approach to setting up this tee shot, what is it that we want to focus on? You know, I think the setup is just as important as the swing itself. So we're going to go through the setup features, and then we'll get into a little bit of the swing, show you the follow through down your line, and I think that'll help you out. All right, can't wait to see. Okay, so what I'm going to do first here, we're going to talk about ball position. That's the setup part of it. Um, I'm going to put my feet together, and then I'm going to take a little step to my left and a bigger step to my right. I'm a right-handed golfer, and that's going to put the ball just off my left or front heel. From there, I'm gonna make sure my feet are just outside my shoulders. A little bit wider than your shoulders is okay because this is a longer club. You need a good solid base and a good solid stance with that. From there, I'm gonna take my normal grip. And then what you're gonna see me do though, is I'm really gonna focus on, in my swing now, trying to extend my arms back. The best drivers of the golf ball, especially for the men, um, Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy, you notice their arms, especially their left arm, beginning of their swing, does not bend. It doesn't bend at all, it stays nice and straight. They're going to get to this point where they can't reach back any farther. Then they'll hinge their hands a little bit, but they'll keep turning their shoulders so they get that big shoulder turn. But even if you notice right now, I have very little bend in my left arm. That's the key to driving the ball straight. As you follow through, you know, I'll show this slowly. As I follow through, the same thing you want to have happen with your follow through. Now my right arm is as straight as it can be. I'm reaching at my target, keeping my head and eyes down until the ball is gone. Much like irons earlier in the year, try to continue down your line towards your target. I'll show you an example here. Feet are together, a light grip, balls off my front heel, a good base, feet just outside shoulder width. From here, try to keep my arms nice and straight, especially in my backswing, and follow through. And if you can finish in a balanced position like I was, normally you're gonna have a pretty good shot. All right, John, another great shot, another great lesson summed up. The driver, such an important part of the game, getting off to a great start. So what is it, again, that we wanna focus on when we're getting ready to set up that great tee shot? For your driver, you wanna start with a solid foundation. You know, that means a light grip, a loose grip, and also uh, make sure your feet are just outside your shoulders. A little flex in your knees. Make sure you get your arms extended down your line. All right, we'll make sure to do that. Thanks again, John, for another great lesson on the links. Be sure to tune back in later on this week on Friday. We'll have another great lesson out there for all of you golfers.